Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. K-Dog. We just received the brand new Wave 2 of the Mandalorian Funko Pops. And when we get back, we're going to unbox them and show you our favorite ones. This is the way. Welcome back. So we just received all the brand new Wave 2 of the Mandalorian Funko Pops at our shop. Uh, they are so cool, but yep. there's so many of them. So we thought we'd list you some in the set and then actually show and unbox the ones that we think are the coolest yep. from this set. So what were some of the ones that came in the set that were not showing off? Well, there was a client. Yeah. Eh, uh, Grief Karga. Yeah. Well, I love Carl Weathers. We love Carl but... Weathers, but the pop is, you know, yeah, it, it's it, all right. it is what it is, right? Yeah. Uh, Q9O. He was the zero Q nine zero, I guess probably. The I don't know. Pilot in episode six. Episode six with Bill yeah. Burr, the droid. Uh, covert Mandalorian. Cooler. 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 Cooler pop. And the armorer. Yeah, I is, actually like the character. Yeah, it's also it's it's a pretty cool pop, but not yeah. these are cooler. These are like than those. on the K dog yeah. and K dog funkability scale. These ones are the highest. Up here. These ones. The so one. we wanted to show you guys what we thought were the coolest mm -hmm. ones, mm -hmm. starting with yes, the, the Incinerator Stormtrooper. Yes. Very cool pop. Guys, we're going to give you a close-up 360 of each of these starting now. That's very nice. This pop is the best in the set. Yeah. Although just the stripe down the helmet. But really, the detail on the flames coming out of the flame this thrower. Is, this is it. This is the one. This is your this favorite? This is my favorite of the entire set. Nice. Yeah. Nice. When I saw the episode two, I was like, oh, man, they make that pop. Yeah. And I was like, how are they going to do the flames? That's how they did That's it. That's how they did it. This is extremely yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, I, I agree with you. I think the next one we're going to show might be, for me, just slightly better but yeah. this one is amazing i actually i gotta have this pop yeah all right so next in the set which i think might be one of the best ones is heavy infantry mandalorian again yeah that's an awesome pop now is, is that episode three i mean you guys can correct us in the comments but when all the mandalorians come to help him right when he's trapped um, and Grief Karga has him trapped. I could swear it's episode three, but mention in the comment, we're not here to debate the show. We're here to show yeah. off the pops. I don't think it's three. But this Anyways. one is extremely cool. The fact that it, it the heavy gun, the yeah. armor, yeah. the colors. The colors are, are really yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's almost like the original Fett. Yeah. Well, I guess the original Fett's green. But still. Still. All right. No, this one is uh, extremely cool. It's just... The uh, entire outfit and the the way the 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 weaponry yeah. is just extremely yeah. awesome. Yeah, the detail on the on the on the ca the cannon gun is is, yeah. is awesome. So I'm gonna go with that. These so which one do you like better? You I still like, like that one I better? still like that one better. Okay, like I'm a big fan of this one, but yeah. I'm a big fan of fire. <laughs> he's, he's got the bug. Yeah. All right, next up we have what is called Off World Jawa. Now. I just thought it's cool. I just I when I took it, I didn't like it. Here's here's the funny thing. Okay. At K Dog, we take every pop out and we display it. So I actually didn't like yeah. it when it was in the box, but when I took it out of the box, I was like, wow, they did a lot of cool detail in this pop when I took it out of the box. You know what? I'm gonna so, agree with you on that. Cause mm -hmm. once we took it out of the box, you got all those sort of detail uh ripples in the robe. Yeah, yeah. And the knife. I didn't yeah. notice the knife before. He's yeah. carrying, as you can see with these close ups that we're doing. Yeah. Uh the knife he's holding yeah. is very badass. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it in the box, yeah. But once it's out of the box, I thought it was a, a pretty awesome pop and that's why we, we wanted to show it off for you guys. Yeah. yeah if so. you've had the opportunity to make it to K Dog and Fish, we are probably one of the only Funko Pop retailers, not uh, one to be wall to wall 100% Funko, but also taking one out of the box so you can mm. see all the detail and then uh, buy it in box uh, as a collector. It's it's a unique way that we like to show off pops in the store. That's amazing. It's what we do. It's what we do. Let's do this. All, all right. right. And last but certainly not least in these ones, and then we have one more special one to show you. This is uh, the Mandalorian with his rifle, his Ambin rifle. Yeah. Ambin? Yeah. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but... It's okay. Ambin Rifle. Uh, so the first 
Mandalorian pop that came in wave one mm -hmm. that we also got um, IG-11 and Quill yeah. uh, and Cara Dune. Um, though that Mandalorian sold out so fast. Yeah. Yeah, but what was the difference? I don't even remember between uh, this one and that one. It was uh, well, we actually have the New York. I'm not sure if it's the exact same um, pop that was in number one. No, number one here. That's exactly what he was wearing, or holding his his oh, rifle is okay. on the back of this uh, box for the New York Comic Con. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So he's sort of holding it on on his side. Yeah, where in this one it is uh, sort of planted next to him so, so the same pretty much but the first mandalorian pop in wave one sold out oh it's gone like gone a week. like well before even christmas like yeah. we couldn't keep it in stock we had a lot uh we we had a lot of them so this mm -hmm. one it's another opportunity to have a mandalorian pop uh there's going to be some exclusives coming down the pipe we're yeah. going to have a chrome Amazon. Yeah, and Target's got one coming. And too. Target will have one too. So that'll be neat. And a 10 -inch. Um oh yeah, there's a, gonna there's be a 10 inch. 10 inch Mandalorian coming soon. That one will be available at K Dog and Fish and our website, kdogandfish.com. Uh not sure on the release date on those. Did we pre-order that? Uh yeah, yeah, we did. Nice. Those are coming. All uh right. the other thing uh that is not in the pictures on the back of this set, but we know is coming, is a baby Yoda pop. Yeah, so there is that. going to be a baby Yoda. It is saying sometime in uh April. So yeah. we will see eventually a baby Yoda known as the child. Yeah. Uh but commonly referred to as baby Yoda. Yeah. My son's favorite part yeah. of the show. April 15th um, street date, so we'll probably get it uh May long weekend. <laughs> Sometimes we get things a little delayed from Funko. We're not sure why, but yeah. uh, that is slated for a mid-April release on Baby Yoda. You can pre-order mm -hmm. Baby Yoda, and a lot of you have, on kdogandfish.com. So uh, that is it for these sets uh, of the regulars. There was one ride that came with the set that we thought was really cool that we wanted to show off, and that is a Mandalorian with Blurg. Dumbest name of a character <laughs> a blurg. ever, but yeah, a really awesome pop. So if you remember, Quill uh, had to teach uh, Mando how to ride one because it was their only form of transportation. I, I'm positive that was episode two. Yeah, that was like two, yeah. Uh, and it was a cool like kind of beast. I mean, it, it did well on camera. To see it in this, the fact that it actually it wasn't just a blurg. Yeah. That it was a ride and you have a Mandalorian yeah. as well. I mean, that's pretty pretty cool. I think that's what's selling it is that the Mandalorian's on it. Yeah. You know, the actual character itself. I don't know. It's okay. It's almost like one of the Dubaks from the original Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, it's a little... It's Just, shorter. It's like a baby Dubak. A baby Dubak. Baby Dubak. <laughs> which would be a better name than Blurg. <laughs> I think Blurg is literally like... Somebody Somebody just made a noise and Favreau is like, oh, we could call the Beast... A blurg. Yeah. Jimmy just had too much at craft services and he started blurg. Yeah. Blurg. Drank his fresca too fast. And yeah. Just, blurg. Oh, boom. Sold. Yeah. Sold. Name. Print. We're behind already. Let's do this. Uh, <laughs> but these are awesome. Uh, we really hope that you guys enjoyed these out of box 360 looks of what we think are the coolest pops from the new uh, wave of Mandalorian. You can get them all at kdogandfish.com. Uh, Pre-order the Baby Yoda as we talked about. Don't forget to uh, follow us on all social media for uh, release dates and everything like that. It's K Dog and Fish on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everything. Everything. It's spell out the A N D uh, on the and. Uh, also, don't forget on this video to like, comment, and subscribe. Before we check out, we do want to say, if you go to kdogandfish.com right now, we are doing our first ever mystery box. So make sure you get that. Exclusive There's Exclusive mystery box. Only 50 available. It's nothing but exclusives in it. Jam-packed. Possible for chases, uh, but we only have 50. So once they're sold out, they're sold out. So make sure you go and grab one of those. Until next time, folks, I am Fish. K-Dog. We'll see you again soon. See ya. Welcome back to another episode of the K Dog and Fish Show. I am Quill. I'm Blurg. <laughs>
That doesn't mean I'm going to ride you. Doesn't mean. (laughs) Ride me like Uh, I'm a blurg. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what Quill's wife says. Yeah, come on. Ride me like I'm like I'm I'm your blurg. Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. K-Dog. And on this episode, we are going to dive deep into The Mandalorian. That sounds gross, actually. I didn't didn't like the hand. It was was weird. You did like... I want to dive deep. Deep. I'm deep in the streets. Deep in the streets. Sometimes I wake up in the streets. Uh, we're showing off uh, wave two of the Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Box. I like that. Ever since you've been watching the Mandalorian show, uh, that you now end all your sentences with "This is the way." This is the way. <laughs> do you do that at home? Always, always, nonstop. It's getting a little tiresome. <laughs> hey, kid dog, yeah. what are you making for dinner? I'm making hot dogs. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, you know that uh, oh, yeah. uh, football season's over. Football season. I know. I'm in depression now. <laughs> I tried were... watching the XFL. Have you guys watched the XFL? Uh, Not for me. No. no. It's my 13th coffee of the day. Mm. 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 You can barely taste the Kahlua. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching Solo going, that's what I hate. And you guys probably hear this too. When you're watching something and it's voiced by a famous actor, it drives me crazy because I could never seem to nail it. I'm always just like, who is that? Who is that? I always got to look it up on IMDb. I'm pretty good at that. I'm not good at that at all. But that was Favreau. But I also like that. I couldn't determine that on my own. Uh, episode six of Mandalorian and uh, uh, famous comedian Bill Burr. Yeah. Was, uh, it was a, a bad guy. Yeah. And I'm like, just because I'm a fan of his stand up, I'm yeah. like, that's just Bill Burr. That's yeah. just, like, it's so weird seeing him in He's that awesome, kind of man. role, but he killed it. He's awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. Beast that uh, Quill teaches Mando what to to ride. Yeah. You know what they're they're called? Yeah. A blah. No, bl- a blurg. Same thing. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't blurg. matter. Literally no thought put into this creature's name. <laughs> but that made me think yeah. of uh, the, of the, if Bill Burr had a blog, it would be called Blurg. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I think he does, actually. Does Bill Burr have a blog? I have no idea. How I many blogs could a Bill Burr blog if a blogger could people, Do people Bill still Burr. blog now? They People still blog. I really don't think they put a lot of thought into naming that creature, though. Really? The Blurg. The Blurg. Really? That's the only... Of all the things... Of all the made-up names you could come up with. Yeah. You got Jawa. That's a cool name. That's a cool name. Yeah. Right? You come up with Blurg. The Blurg. It's almost like a, a noise you would make if you ate too much Chinese food. Yeah. Blurg. Yeah, there's a Blurg out of both ends. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the K-Dog and Fish Show. I am Fish. I, Aaron Rodgers. You are... <laughs> How's Danica? Pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> got a dog together i like how i like how he uh, he broke up with olivia munn only like oh my new girlfriend is yeah i can't do any better than olivia munn and then it's like now my new girlfriend's danica patrick yeah yeah he's and he gets paid like 38 million dollars a year and he's like the best quarterback ever that's arguably up there that's so funny And on this episode, we are going to unbox and reveal wave two of the Mandalorian pops, the ones that we think are cool. And when we get right back, we'll start the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That ended really well. Ran out of gas. I I really dropped the ball on that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I really birds of prayed that intro. Oh, ouch. 